Hey guys, it's Tony with Wood Tramp Outdoors. I got another battle box for you. This is mission number 108, so hang tight. I'll be right back. Hi right, guys, uh, welcome back. Mission number 108. I got the mission brief here in front of me right now. Uh, and I have got a couple other things that I wanted to make mention of before I actually get in the box. But bam, if you look right up here, you're going to see the new magazine cover for Wood Tramp Outdoors. And we're featuring this month uh, Mr. T.M. Hunt of T.M. Hunt Custom Knives. Uh, Todd is known for a phenomenal uh, approach uh, to knife making. He is a metallurgist, metallurgist. I mean, the guy really understands the steel that he works with. Uh, and if you remember right, uh, his most popular blade was the M18, uh, named after the Claymore mine. And uh, at that time when we reviewed that dude, uh, that was the one that a lot of you had seen on Naked and Afraid. Uh, and uh, we have been reviewing that knife and using that knife and playing with that knife for almost six, seven years, I think, something like that, I'm guessing. Uh, and at that time, I asked him about the uh, uh, smaller version, if he would ever make a smaller version. He said, absolutely not, not even thinking about it. Well, lo and behold, a few months ago, one showed up on uh, our doorstep, and it's called the M14, uh, named after the smaller uh, uh, anti-personnel uh, mine, uh, nicknamed the toe popper. Um, so yeah, so you want to check that out. Uh, and we've got a lot of changes going on. So let's get off into this battle box mission number 108. And uh, you're going to be really surprised if you haven't seen it yet, haven't seen some of the gear that's in here. Uh, it's all pretty uh, nice stuff, you know. So uh, like always, let's just talk about the basic box being uh, $34.99. The advanced box is $64.99. The Pro box is $119.99 and the Pro Plus is $169.99. That's the knife of the month. You always get a really nice knife in the knife of the month. So with me saying all that, let me get into this here. The basic box starts out, it's got three pieces of gear in it. The first one is the Revo Canyon Folder and we've seen uh, many Revo knives uh, and um, I, I get a lot of questions about, is there ever knives in the basic box? Well, here's one here. Uh, and I will tell you that this knife is probably uh, very well suited to be an everyday utility knife that you might carry to work with you, uh, have in your shop with you. Um, it, it is just a very stout knife that could take somewhat of a beating. You know, you're not going to take this out into the bush and baton with it. I don't think it would be able to withstand that. Maybe small stuff, but not very much. But it's really put together well. Uh, fits nice in the pocket. And it's got this little tiny release button here on it. If I can, if I can figure that out there. I thought I had it figured out. Oh, how about that? <laughs> yeah. That's it right there. So that was my bad. Um, and if you remember right, they had they had a, a knife about I don't know, two years ago. Uh, they came in different colors, blue, uh, yellow, green, red. That was something like this. And uh, one of the guys that was reviewing that knife uh, released that button on that Revo, and it came down and really cut his finger. So be careful when you're using this. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It's made out of uh, 4CR13MOV steel. Um, and it's got somewhat of a, a hammered type of finish here, uh, aluminum scales, you know, uh, and it has stainless steel liners. Uh, it doesn't really give the overall length inside of the mission brief, uh, but you're talking about a blade that's almost three inches long. Uh, overall, it's probably about uh, six and a half, seven inches. So pretty nice little offering right there from Revo. Uh, next up is something that, uh, has really taken off the popularity. Uh, the Flexdale Tiny Pump X-White. 
Um, and a lot of companies are making these now, these little handheld pumps. I didn't open this because we have three of them here. Um, and my intention was to grab one of them, but I mean, I can just open this up real quick for you. Just pull this out here. <clears throat> and this is one of the, the smaller ones that, that I have in my possession. But that's all it is right there, man. Uh, and it um, will inflate mattresses, pillows, whatever, in a very, very short period of time. Uh, it can be recharged with a USB cable that it comes with. It has several different adapters with it. Uh, and I, I got to tell you, <clears throat> when you're out and you are ground camping or hammock camping and you have got an inflatable mattress, this thing will be your best friend. And that is no kidding. Uh, and, uh, well, there it goes. See that? Yeah. Yep. Last night, we're getting ready to take a trip. Uh, Mo and I are, are taking a trip down to Texas, and uh, we bought some of those vacuum bags. I didn't use this unit, but I used one just like it, and sucked down the, the uh, air out of the uh, packaging so we could put it in our suitcase. These things are really good, and it's about time that somebody came out with one of these. These are really great. What an ad to end up in a battle box. All right, and then the third thing here is something that is very, very practical. It's the Brunton Lensatic Compass. And um, I get emails all the time asking me about compass uh, questions, whether it might be about the compass itself or how to use a Lensatic or uh, any type of compass. Great questions. And um, one of the questions was, do I even need a compass? Well, you know, that depends on you, where you go, what you do. If you are in, in unfamiliar territory, then the answer is absolutely yes. you got to have a compass. Uh, navigation skills um, will pay off in dividends uh, if you ever get turned around in an unknown area. You know, so not only do you carry a compass on you, but before you ever go out, you need to check with the geographical society in your area and grab a map. You can get them online for free. Uh, and that way, you can go out practice with this, learn how to use a compass right, and that way you don't ever end up getting lost. Uh, and you can also uh, help your friends learn how to use these also. Compasses are a great tool to have in your arsenal, and this one here from Brunton is uh, pretty solid. It's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, there is no half-life on it because it doesn't have a uh, illuminated uh, dial you know, like the military style has. But it's still a great little compass made out of steel. You know, so it's uh, got some durability to it. But learn how to use it, okay? All right, let's move on to uh, the advanced box. The advanced box is pretty dope this time. Now, remember, your advanced box is $64.99. You get everything in the basic box and the advanced box. And what you have here is the Dark Energy Poseidon Nano, there it is. This is an energy brick. Um, a lot of terminologies for these, um, but it's just for charging your electronic devices. Um, and it comes with a USB cable uh, to be able to charge it. It has the, mm, Mo, help me with this. What's this little ring called for, for your uh, iPhone? Do you know? It's a charging plate. Charging plate, okay. It has a charging plate for your phone or other devices that will made up with it. Uh, and the, the great thing about this, it doesn't take long at all um, to charge this thing. It's, it's about an hour to charge it up. Um, but what I wanted to really point out to you, because these suffer in the wintertime. Uh, all the power bricks that I've ever used, man, you got to keep them warm on your body, near your body. Uh, this particular guy, it says uh, they were winter tested and endured six weeks straight in freezing temperatures. Each unit comes with a two-year warranty. The Nano is a 3,000 milliamp brick. That equates to about five to eight hours of additional power for a smartphone and even up to 12 hours. It all depends on what phone you have. Uh, you can be stretched an immense amount if running the phone on airplane mode when off grid. All right, that just makes sense. But you see how small it is, how tiny it is. You hardly have any weight to this thing, a very small footprint. Again, that is the Advanced Box 
uh, great ad there also. So that takes us off to the Pro Box. And you have heard me talk about Pro Box, this item that's in the Pro Box uh, right here. This comes from Grail. Uh, this is the Grail GeoPress. You've seen us um, uh, show you the Ultra Press, which is smaller, and then also the Titanium Ultra Press. And then I just got word from Grail. I'm not even supposed to know if I'm supposed to tell you this or not. Uh, but Grell just came out with a titanium GeoPress, the big guy here. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of advantages to that titanium. But this isn't titanium, but it is an awesome ad. If you've never used a Grell, let me tell you, put your Life Straws away, put your MSR Guardians away. You know, those are, are good for the what you use them for. But this guy is a one-stop shop. Uh, all you have to do is... Open this up like so. You put your dirty water in here. You know, hopefully it's running. But if not, hey, I've done it right out of a nasty uh, lake before. Uh, put your water in here. You got a little fill line up here. This is your filtration system here. And you just crack that lid a little bit to let the air out. And you just press down. And you can't hear the air, but I can hear it. At least I don't think you can. Maybe you can. And then you're drinking right out of here. So um, I have used these in lakes, in rivers, in streams. I've never gotten sick. Uh, the water tasted just perfect. Really enjoyed it. So this is the, the GeoPress. This is the big guy right here. Uh, it's 24 ounces takes about 8 to 16 seconds depending you know and as as your filter gets dirty you know it will um, slow down also uh, one of the questions that we have received in the past not with this particular box here but we were asked how long is the shelf life on a filter that hasn't been opened it's 10 years and then after you open it and you start using it I think it's two to three years I don't know if that's in here or not uh, but I bet it's on the back of that box if I was really digging and looking. Here we go. It says, uh, yep, cartridge has a shelf life of 10 years. After a cartridge has been used, it lasts at least, at least three additional years. See? Three years of very, very drinkable water and we all know how important water is okay that was your 119.99 level you get everything before that now we're going to move on to the pro plus box which is the knife of the month and i think you're going to love this guy here this is this is really a, a a pretty knife it comes from real steel and if you've been following the magazine or or this this channel for any amount of time this is probably oh, maybe 10 10 knives that we have reviewed from uh, Real Steel, and um, uh, this is probably my favorite, to be honest with you. I know it's small, it's a little bit diminutive, uh, but it's the perfect knife to go inside of your pocket. Um, yeah, I really like this guy. It's it's beautiful. So let me tell you a little bit of something. It's called the Sacra Probe, and it's in a Battle Box exclusive. Um, it's a piece of ex expert craftsmanship by Jacob. We were trying to figure this out. He's got every letter in the alphabet in his name here. It looks like Worskowitz. <laughs> Worskowitz. Okay. If I'm wrong, you let me know. If I'm right, you let me know. Um, it's di ideal for both professionals and outdoor enthusiasts. But let me let me kind of put a little uh, ad addendum on this thing about the outdoor enthusiast. You know, um... I brought this knife out of here. Let me see. Oh, I thought I had it. Yeah, I do. I do. I got it right. This is my benchmark for folders that go out into the field with me. This is the CRKT M21 OG or something like that. I forget. Uh, Kit Carson design knife. Um, and it is by far my favorite folder to go in my pocket for the outdoors because I can do almost anything with this that I can do with a fixed blade. And I know I'm going to get a bunch of feedback from all you super duper experts that don't ever get off the couch. You know, eating your potato chips while you watch alone doesn't make you an outdoor expert. Uh, so, did I even say that? I guess I just did. So, anyway, 
this is a great knife. I mean, I can baton. With, I can do anything with this. So I would not even attempt to baton with this pretty little knife at all. I don't think I would take this out in, into the bush. Mm -mm. Uh, but it would go in my pocket for work, uh, for a night out on a town. Uh, you know, if I really had to do it, let me tell you, this is cool. What would I do with it? It's in here somewhere. Come on now. There he is. Okay. So this month, we'll forget about this because you're going to be envious seeing this thing here. Uh, this month, you've got a, a work style knife and you got a style, and style, of, uh, style of knife. You know, very, very slick, beautiful, nice looking, light, small footprint in the pocket. Uh, you know, so that is a great ad. It's called the Sacra Pro. And again, it's a battle box exclusive. I couldn't see. Um, it's made with a robust Bowler K110 uh, stainless steel blade. It says it's built to last, and you can feel that here, you know, for sure. But I wanted to know if it was numbered. Let's just take a quick look at this dude. Hmm. Uh, no. It's, well, it might be. Yes, there's a number on it. So it is numbered. So that might be the Battle Box exclusive part. Um, Crossbore lock and ambidextrous clip, blah, 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 blah. Oh, here we go. It is also an exclusive serialized colorway with a blue titanium coated frame and hardware finish. And it also comes with a little tool uh, somewhere. Where's he at right there? Yeah, it's got a uh, flathead screwdriver, a Torx. 8 screwdriver torque 6 uh, it has a hexagon socket and then the Phillips screwdriver little tiny guy you can put on your keychain you know come in handy in the survival situation if you're out somewhere and you need that stuff there you got it so for $169.99 you get everything you just saw here and you know to me this would be one of those knives that stays within my collection uh, I like small knives that I can take out a night on the town if I'm going out for dinner or whatever I've always got a knife in my pocket um, but yeah this would be a great knife here so that's $169.99 for all this that's mission number 108 for the month of February. We're getting ready to get off into uh, March here. And from what I'm told, there's some pretty decent stuff. And that next box is coming your way. So keep an eye on, on the magazine here. And uh, make sure you read the article on uh, Todd Hunt. If you're looking for a custom knife. And, you know, I don't uh, always, always mention uh, our contributors, but... You know, Todd is exceptional. If you're looking for a very exceptional knife or a specialty knife, when, he, when you talk about having truly custom, he makes them custom. So thanks again for watching. Appreciate your support and everything that you do. So until next time, you guys be safe out there no matter where you're at.